No matter how my te iwi, he kaupapa kai e hariaki nei. We have a fun, foodie-filled episode of Fano Wellbeing installed for you guys today. Yes, if your Fano love kai like ours do, you'll enjoy this fun way of getting your whole Fano involved with making your Fano kai. Uh, we've got an awesome Fano tradition that we do every Sunday called the Fano Cook-Off, and this is how it works. Anenga mahi. As you know, in our everyday normal lives with working, school and extracurricular activities, things can get so full on that you find it hard to create that space for quality whānau time. Yes, so a couple of years back we decided to make a change and actually prioritise our whānau time. So we created this new kaupapa to allow us to create more kotahitanga with our tamariki. We call this time the Fano Cook-Off. So what you do is you split your Fano into teams. Pair up one matua with each of the tamariki. If you have one child, then rotate the adults each week. That way, mama can have a night off cooking. Ai, anaiti mea pai, here's the good part. You assign all the responsibility of the food to the tamariki. Manga tamariki e whakahaere ngā āhua tanga katoa o te kai. So the kids get to plan the night's menu. You can assign a meal for each group, dinner or dessert, or rotate per adult every week. The kids budget for the kai that they want to cook, and they also help cook and present the kai as well. Kia pai te fea kutunu kai. You want to create a fun learning experience when you do this with the tamariki. Also, keep an open mind to any ideas that they might have. Yes, try not to take over in this one moment and encourage them through the process. Always speak life into them and praise them for what they do. So when the kids are planning their menu, you can pull out a few cookbooks for them to look through. You can even go yeah. on Google or Pinterest, or better yet, give Nan a phone call to ask her for some whānau recipes. The one thing that we encourage our tamariki to do is to think of different cultural dishes and cuisines. And to change it up, you could do a themed menu of kai Māori, Mexican or Polynesian inspired kai. Ko titihi o a māua ture matua, so one of our main rules is that you can't cook the same thing twice. So that means we're getting to try new kai, the kids are learning how to make new recipes, and they're also gaining these amazing life skills of spending time as a whānau. My favourite kai to cook is pancakes, pad thai, and Mexican, and pizza. I know how to cook thais, pizzas, and waffles. My favourite kai is kiki, pia pia, mea ahi kareemi. So you also want to assign a budget for their meals as well. This way they'll learn how to be responsible for the money that they'll spend on their kai. Yes, and instead of taking them to the shop, what you can do is pull up an online shopping site and let them type in the ingredients so they get to see what the prices are and know how much they have left to spend. Now for the fun part, the cooking. Now use this time to teach your tamariki about food technique, food safety and the different types of food ingredients. Ai, mō ngā tamariki iti, so for the younger kids, you can get them involved in simple things like cutting and prepping veggies, mixing the bowls, or even measuring out the kai. For the older kids, get them involved with everything, but just make sure that you explain things clearly and focus on safety. Kia haumaru te mahi. Finally, when it comes to plating, let your kids have fun with it. See what they come up with. One great idea is to get a photo example from a cookbook and use that as a guide. It's finally time to try the beautiful kai that your tamariki have prepared. Now, to add a competitive element, you can all do a secret vote out of 10 and whoever wins can nominate who does the dishes. To wrap things up, always finish by acknowledging your tamariki for the amazing mahi they've done and for taking the time to cook for your whānau. 
Ai, he ahua tanga miharo tēnei. By doing this, you're teaching them the habit of giving thanks and gratitude for what other people do for them as well. Nō reira, ke te tuku mihi a pāparao ko māma ki a koutou katoa mō tō koutou whakapau kaha ki te tinu i tō mātou kai i tēnei pō. Ai, e tino reka te kai. Kia ora. Tamariki should learn how to cook so when they're older, people know how to cook for them. Tamariki should learn how to cook because they, so they don't have to waste their money while they buy takeaways and because it's good for them, so they learn. Tamariki should cook because they'll get new recipes. Kai is the universal language of love. It is the one thing that we all do that brings everyone together as friends, as whānau, to create conversations, memories and kotaitanga. E huama i nā te ora o te tangata. Now we hope that you and your whānau enjoy doing this in your whare. Tēnā, tango pikitea, kiriata hoki. Take some pictures and stories and be sure to share them with us over on our social pages at Whānau Wellbeing on Facebook and Instagram. Kua nui ngā kōrero mō tēnei wā. That is it from us today. We'll see you next time. Noho maira i rotu i ngā manākitanga. Haere rā! Haere rā.